Have you ever wanted to build an abandoned farm to start your new save on? But you couldn't quite capture that abandoned feel. Well, today I'm going to show you the first part of building out an abandoned farm. So real quick, uh, this actually came about uh, from a comment from one of my other building tutorial videos. I uh, forget your name off the top of my head. I do apologize. You know who you are. So, um... Yeah, the, the comment was basically, you know, saying that they, they've always wanted to build out like a like an abandoned farm to start off on and kind of struggled to really capture that abandoned look. So today I'm going to jump in here and show you the first step in getting yourself an abandoned looking farm uh, to start your series. Now, it's going to be a pretty, pretty small farm uh, to begin with. And, uh, yeah, so we are on American farmlands, and this is just because, you know, it's flat land, it's easy to work with, uh, for the tutorial base, but you can do this on any map. Now, this is gonna be an American-style farm, so I'm gonna do an American-style farm, abandoned look to it and everything, and then I'll go to, like, uh, I don't know, I may change maps, or I may just, like, build it over here. A uh, more UK slash European style abandoned farm in another video. Uh, so this may be multiple parts uh, as far as the American abandoned farm look. Uh, we'll see how long a video ends up being, I suppose. So uh, yeah, I've just moved over here. You can see our farm that we were working on in the other tutorial videos. We will continue to build that one out to make it look like a, a legitimate, you know, used farm. But uh, we're going to start from scratch over here. And for reference, you can see where we are on the map right there. First thing, as always, make sure you are out of the way. Find you a point that you want to make your driveway, right? So I'm thinking about right in here would be fine so we'll hop on into construction mode and get things going so the first thing that we're going to do is think about um building placements right so we want to make us a little bitty driveway just we don't want to go all the way in or nothing like that uh just something enough to get us started so let's uh let's head into and we could use just you know placeholder uh, stuff for now, but I think we'll actually go ahead and start placing down some uh, textures that we're going to use. So if we again go into our round tool, bump it up a size just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm thinking about right in here. So if we find us a point, just a straight line. And this is all personal preference, whichever material you would like to paint with. Does not have to be exactly what I'm using. This is all personal preference, guys. And then, for this, uh, and I'm going with this, this darker, this gravel dirt, just to make it look like it's old and worn a little bit more. We will kind of spice this up a little bit. And if you're kind of wondering about how big you should make this area, one thing that you could do, and uh, I'm just going to do this real quick. Uh, so you could do this, you know, console, PC, whatever. But for PC, I have these store deliveries. And what I'm going to do is actually hop in here and find us a truck. Uh, we'll just go with, uh, we'll just go with the base game pickup truck. Doesn't have to be nothing spectacular. And uh, I do not have my steering wheel and stuff set up, so what I'm going to do is just pick this up, super strength. Kind of place it over this driveway area. Now, over time, you will kind of get the hang of, you know, how big a certain area should be for your vehicles and stuff. So you can see that is pretty good for a vehicle to come in and out of. So we'll just take this and place that right over there and then uh, we'll hop back into our build mode grab our texture that we were working with 
Now, for the driveway here, what you want to do is, again, you want to kind of round off the edges, make it look like vehicles have gone off this way, look like vehicles have gone off this way. Something like that. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So maybe just a little smidge more right there. Yeah, that, that looks a little bit better. All right, so you don't have to go any further than that right now. You're just getting the uh, the basics, and then you can come in with your kind of grassy edges a little bit. Might look like a little bit much there, but that's okay. Then we're just going to kind of touch a little bit right there in the middle. And then uh, you can come in with your grass. And just touch some of these little areas right here. Same kind of tech, uh, techniques that we were using before. So now it looks like a kind of a rundown driveway, right? Yeah, we'll just do that right there. Next step is going to be selecting your buildings. Now, I have spent about an hour or so going through the mod hub and uh, downloading a bunch of abandoned old looking buildings. Now, I'm not going to put, you know, links or nothing like that or a list or nothing like that down in the description or anything. Again, this is all personal preference. All you have to do is go into the mod hub. Everything that you see here is available in the mod hub, whether or not it's for PC and console. I do not know. Uh, I don't really pay attention to that. So, you know, just, just browse through. Pick the buildings that you want on your farm that look old, abandoned, run down you know you, you get the point first thing that we need to look into farmhouses i highly suggest you start with a farmhouse that we can kind of get an idea of where you want to lay everything else out now when i'm thinking about a farm driveway right so this may just be the driveway for the house and then we may have another entrance for like a farmyard obviously there's going to be a connection made within the house area so we'll, we'll see we'll see so right now we're gonna just start with a farmhouse now of course we have all of the platinum expansion stuff which are some decent buildings for an abandoned farm but they look a little too new you know what I mean so let's scroll on through I have downloaded a bunch of different houses and everything now there is one in particular that I'm looking for now this right here this will go down on the farm just not yet not right now uh, we're gonna add this in for a little bit of uh, added effect and detail so you know you get little stuff like this then you have something like this that looks definitely ran down and old now you have your trigger points for both sleep and wardrobe. And uh, you can have a little address number. Now you cannot go inside this house, but that's okay. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is kind of put this off on an angle. We don't want it like super symmetrical or anything like that. Place that right about there. Again, this is all personal preference. You can place things wherever you would like. We're just going through the build process right now. And then we'll go into the details and all that stuff. So, now, let's say, for example, you don't like any of the house options that you see or anything like, like that, but you find a decorative building that you like and that you would like to use as a farmhouse. One thing you could do is, you know, for example... I have a ton of decorations installed, so I'm going to scroll through. This is the only downside about doing a bunch of decoration mods. I really wish Giants would have a different menu set up for this. So let's say, for example, obviously this is a this is a farmhouse that you can set up. It is set up as a farmhouse. But let's say, for example, you find a building that you like. You can place down the building. And then within your farmhouse selection, there is a mod for a little, you know, doormat. Okay, this doormat is your sleep trigger. And you can also get, uh, I may not have it installed, but there is a wardrobe bag, like a portable wardrobe bag uh, in the mod hub, I believe, somewhere. 
So, uh, yeah, so that's the house that we're gonna go with. Let's head on over to our, uh, sheds here. Now, a house like this may not necessarily have, like, a fully closed-in garage. So, for sheds, you want to find something that's kind of fitting. You could always... Nope, not that one. Uh, you could always go with something simple. This may be a little bit too big. You know, something, something like this might be an okay option to go with, and you could even, you know, adjust it to put it right up next to the house. There are, I, ha I have a ton of, I have a ton of stuff in here. Here's, here's another option right here. This might be nice, but there is one in here in particular that I have found, and that is this guy right here. Again, this may be a little bit too big, to be honest, uh, but the fact that the boards are all broken down and everything, it is kind of really fitting. So I think, and you can see you getting this, you're getting this overlap with another object. All you have to do on PC is just hit V, and now you can place it anywhere you want. I don't know what it is, you know, controls or anything like that on console is, uh, but, you know, that is an option. So you can see how the roof has, like, moldy textures and stuff on it. This roof also has that, so it kind of fits. It has rundown boards, so we can go about right, right there with that. Now we could have set it off to an angle, like over here somewhere, or something like that, but that's kind of a long walk for, you know, getting to uh, your house. Also, we could have actually done something like, something like this. You know, again, this is all personal preference. Set it up however you want, but I think we're just gonna go standard like this. This should be fine. And then now we're gonna come into our landscape and our paint. And we're gonna continue our driveway in. Now what we want to do is think about our drive, like where the vehicles are gonna be going. So we're gonna bump that up a little size there. And we're just gonna paint right along the edge of the shed. Not gonna get too crazy. Just wanna fill in this little shed area here. Then we'll come in and touch it with some details and whatnot. Alright, next thing that we're gonna do is think about where the vehicles are gonna be driving. So I'm thinking, you know, you come in, and you're gonna be heading for that parking area. So start start with a simple line. Give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve effect, right? Yeah, something like that. Looks nice. I'm gonna try to keep the same width, and then think about area to turn around. And then you come in and just fill it in. We'll add our detail and whatnot to the gravel as we go here. Now you can see there is one little area, I didn't mean to erase that, but there's one little area that's looking a little thin, right here. Just thicken that up just a little bit. Again, like I said, we'll come in and add detail and whatnot uh, as we... ...kind of need to. And then we'll just kind of randomize some grass right there. Perfect. Then you come in, touch up the edges, some detail, make it look like grass is kind of starting to grow in. And then we'll come in with our actual grass texture. And we'll go back down to the small size and just little touches. Same techniques as before. Now this is, this is an abandoned farm, so this farm has not been driven on, you know, into, in and out of. Quite a while, so don't be afraid to put some grass in there. We don't want to go like super overboard with it, right? Like that looks like a pretty good amount for a driveway that hasn't really necessarily been driven on in a while. And then for in here, we can even add some grass along the back end of the uh, area right there. Maybe a little bit of grass around these poles. And uh, we're going to actually leave this dirt along the uh, side of the house. And we're just going to come in with a little bit of grass to kind of make it look 
overgrown and we'll put some bushes and stuff like that in like you know stuff like this to make it look overgrown something like that now for the walkway up to the door even though this is not a house that you can go into i still highly suggest you paint in a walkway so again we'll go back to the same textures that we're using and we'll come off the door just add a little walkway over to the uh, driveway something like that I mean you could just do a straight line over but that looks too symmetrical this this adds a little bit of a little bit of uh, interesting look to it so switch back over to our grass now the walkway don't be afraid to overgrowth this area quite a bit something like that And then we can come in with some bushes and shrubbery. And let's say we have them growing in the uh, the barn. And then you can just, you know, kind of go around the house a little bit, adding some shrubbery and whatnot. Now we'll do something back here on the backyard a little bit different. We're just kind of spam some bushes and whatnot might be a little bit much but we can always adjust the bushes and everything as we go so right now we already have us a an abandoned house and parking garage area right so now we can take our truck and we'll even we'll even back it in you know something like that now one thing PC players have the ability to do is if you have the easy dev mod installed you can come in here go to the vehicle option and then go to dirt, set that to 100%, and where, set that to 100%, and now you have yourself an old, dirty truck. Yeah. Now we can just stick that there. We can even put it in at an angle, so you kind of get that dirty, abandoned look to it. Now that looks pretty good from the road. So next up, we're going to want to start to think about where we're going to build out our farmyard. Now, you don't necessarily have to put it next to your house, right? If you own property, you can just, you know, go elsewhere. And one thing I actually just realized that I did not do was come in here and purchase the land and stuff that we we're working on. So I'm just going to just going to buy uh, this stuff right here. There we go. Now we own that land. And we are good to go. So next thing that we're going to do is think about where you want your farmyard. All right. Now, you don't necessarily have to put a driveway off of your main driveway to go into your farmyard. Uh, there are a lot of farms that don't actually like have a driveway coming off of the house area. It's a separate entrance. Uh, but there are some that do have uh, quite a few, actually, especially here around the area that I'm in there that are more like a ranch and stuff like that they have a they have a little split somewhere coming off their main driveway so think about where you want your uh, farm yard to be and again we'll come in switch to our round tool bump it up a size let's just pick an area to start with so I'm thinking I think we we build the farmyard off Maybe this way. Since since we have our vehicle area right here, what we can do is actually come off of this. Continue on this way. And we'll even come off of that little area right there. Again, don't worry about getting ready, you know, rid of any bushes or anything like that. <clears throat> so now we have a little drive area heading off to our farmyard so we'll just come in and actually we're gonna leave some of that grassy area right in there and then we can come in and touch some of these areas with the uh, grassy gravel all right so don't worry about finishing off that right there that is just kind of a placeholder at the moment so now you have the direction that you want to go into your actual ranch or farmyard, equipment yard, whatever you would want to call it. So, 
Um, next thing that I think we'll do here is maybe add a little fence entrance area. And we're just going to do this little section right here until we finish the rest of the farm area. Uh, but we'll do, we'll do an entrance and then we'll do some lighting. And uh, maybe do like a little backyard area. Now there is no back door on this house. So you got to think about how are they going to get... How do they get to the backyard, right? So you might have to add another walkway going around the house. Or a walkway coming from the shed. Or maybe even a walkway in between the house. And the, uh, and the little parking shed. Going to the backyard area. Uh, which actually that may be the better option. Uh, since there is like this right here so uh, yeah we'll, we'll we'll look at that real quick and then we also need to get some lighting and everything in so let's go ahead and do the gate and you know fence area so let's go into our fences and stuff now again I've downloaded a bunch of different fence options and gate options that are all available in the mod hub uh, again whether or not they're PC and you know console you know cross play or cross platform um, uh, mods, I, I don't know, so you'll have to kind of just, you know, look yourself. So for a farm like this, we're going for that abandoned look, right? Now, one thing I don't like about this fence is you see how this fence has the, the, uh, uh, planks on the outside right here, and the gate is opening out. But if you turn it around this way, you see the like the frame of the gate. I, I wish it was the other way around, because you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't build a fence that way unless you have your gate opening outwards, uh, which some people some people do, some people don't. I personally wouldn't build it that way. Luckily, we have a pretty good selection of fences and gates and whatnot. Again, this is another one where the frame is built on the wrong side for an inward opening gate. Yeah, pretty much all of these are. So this one right here, the old fence and gate mod, looks like a pretty decent one. Now, you gotta think about, okay, I'm not really gonna pull big equipment through this area to get back. This is like mainly for like your, your smaller vehicles to get in and out of your farmyard. Uh, again, we'll do like a separate entrance for the main farmyard to get your bigger equipment in and out. So we're just gonna go with this right here. And what you wanna do is center it up as best you can with your driveway. And we'll have to shrink the driveway just a little bit. And you want to square it up with the road back it off the road just a little bit so something like that and this one was actually designed right where the frame is on the inside and the gate opens inwards uh, and then what you could do is uh, come off of it with your actual gate or uh, fence option and what we're gonna do is Kind of follow the angle of the driveway right here. And we'll go like right there. Again, we'll come off of this. Bring it up to the edge. Try to match up that angle. And boom. Doesn't look exactly like, you know, the best or anything. To be honest, that looks a little bit off. So we'll come in and just make that a little bit more matched up. So something like that looks a little bit better now you don't have to do this you know divot in kind of look that I'm going for here this is just something that I do on uh, on my builds I like to angle it in and also this side does not look right so that looks that looks better that looks better right there so the next thing that I want to look for are my arches and, and stuff that I have installed and I do not see them in the fence and gate option so they're going to be in the other category and this may take a little while to find what you're looking for if you have a bunch of different decorative uh, you know decoration mods and stuff installed uh so you know this, this could take a while so just take your time search through find the right item like something like this is exactly what i was looking for what you could do is obviously you're going to have to 
mod or hit the hit the button to get it to place anywhere. And this gate is not exactly square with the road, but that's okay. This adds to that abandoned, worn down farm look. And uh, unfortunately, that got rid of a ton of grass. Oh, and it's floating. And it's floating. So we we made an uh oh there. Uh, giants, please, in the next iteration or the next update, give us like a control Z undo button option, please. <laughs> I think I speak for everyone that uh that does build build mode uh when it comes to uh the control Z undo. Alright, so let's actually try to get that right this time. Let's go about right there. Yeah, look at that. First try. I got it on the first try, guys. First try. Alright, so now we need to come in and fix our little uh-ohs. Oopsies. And we'll just kind of, you know, thicken up this grass around around the fence. You fill that in right there. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, we'll just leave the driveway that width. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. So now we got our farm entrance. So you can see on the fence right here how how the, the posts are on the inside. And then on this one, the posts are on the outside. So the way you do that is think about the direction that you're placing these fences down. So let me find that fence again. Alright, so here's our fence. And since we dra we put this fence down like this, it puts the post on the inside. But if we come off of it like this, it puts the posts on the outside. So we'll have to start from this side and kind of line it up like that, roughly. And then come in like that. Now you have your posts on the inside on both sides of the fence. So keep that in mind when you're placing the fences down because if you come off of this side, and you go off, you're gonna be fine, the posts are on the inside. But if you come off of this side and go this way, the posts are on the outside. Alright, uh, so, with that in mind, let's actually go off of this just a little bit. Come off of it about right there. And then this side will come off of it about... right there. Alright, now we have a fenced-in area. And typical ranches and stuff here in at least the area that I'm in uh, have kind of like a big front yard area leading up to their house. And then they have big open pasture area in the back. And then if they ha you know, if they do any farming, they have their farm fields and stuff around that. So we'll keep that in mind as we're going. Now let's dirty up this front end here. If we go into our plants, and let's just add some bushes and shrubbery, make this thing look like it has not been driven into in a while. Something like this. Then we'll come in. Definitely want to get bushes around the posts. That's, uh, that's a big thing in abandoned farms. Um, definitely get some bushes and shrubbery around the posts, okay? And around the fence area make it look like it's not very well kept up with make sure you're varying your sizes and stuff on these bushes to keep it interesting we'll put a big one over there and maybe a big one right there sometimes it's a little funky to get those to place down we'll just come in and fix that grass like that same with this area, same with this. We'll fix that grass a little bit. And now we're looking we're looking pretty good. So it looks like this this area has not been kept up with at all. Uh now for lights, okay. Let's get our lighting in and this will be the last thing that we do for this episode. Now for lights, here here's something cool that they they have added into the mod hub and hats off to the modder i'm sorry i can't remember your name at the moment uh but you'll know who you are when i get to these so there are these mounted lights uh packages and stuff um so you could do something like i wish i could zoom in a little bit more 
to really see what I'm doing here. So, you know, you could do lights like this coming off of off of the post. Now, you want to make sure this is kind of straight. You know, something like that right there. And then you want to make sure you are even all the way across. And place one right there as well. Now, you have some lights at your front entrance area that looks like they're pretty level. We may actually get rid of this little shrub right here because that looks like a little too much going on. Alright, so let's go back into our paint. And take that out just a little bit like that. There we go. And we can come into our plants. And let's add just a few more of these little shrubs and stuff. On the outside, I'm gonna make look like make it look like it's overgrown and not very well kept. All right, so now we have lighting. I wish there was a way that we can have you know change like the angle and stuff, make it look like it's kind of hanging off, like broken. But unfortunately, we cannot do that. Now, there's one last thing that I wanted to try. Actually, you know what? We'll save that for another episode. We'll save that for the next part. So for back here. Again, we can go with these wall lights. We'll go with this um, wall light options here. So, like, these might be a little bit big. Actually, they, they look like they might be okay. So we want to square that up with, with that. And what we're going to do is actually just bring this all the way up to the top. Right about there. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Alright, now we have lighting for our parking area, and then for in front of the house. Now you could add this in, but it doesn't really fit with this building, right? So a light that I like to use is actually... You know, this right here is a good light, but there's one in particular that I like to use, and that is right... Not that one. I'll find it. It's this one right here. Now, this one right here fits the lighting that we have over here, so we may actually go with this one, but it's a little bit too tall in my opinion, but so is this one. So, you know what? Let's go with this one. And what you want to do is just place this kind of, uh... You know, right here at the front door, and we'll force that to place. Definitely looks a little tall for that, so we may end up changing that out eventually, but... Now... If we switch over to nighttime, we'll take a look at how this looks. So let's go ahead and speed up this time. And let me add in my additional time scale. Alright, so now you can see we have a nice lit up front entrance coming into the farm. And the lighting is not overdone back here at the house. Okay. Now these lights have a little bit more of a yellow tinge to them. This one has a little bit more of a white tinge to it. Uh, so that's why I like to use the other one because it has more of a yellow old look to it. But, uh, you know, typically an abandoned farm like this won't have any power to it. But let's say you bought the place and you replace the lights and you have the power connected to the place. Okay. And uh, that's kind of the story that we'll go with. So that is the farmhouse area kind of set up in the front entrance and the lights on the front of the property and uh, we will continue this in another episode this video is going to be pretty long already as it is but I wanted to really make sure I explained the details and everything like the thought pro the thought process that I go through when I'm building a particular farm or like an abandoned look or something like that um, so yeah, this, uh, this will be a multi-part series. So yeah, that is going to do it for this one. If you have any suggestions or tips that you could leave in for anybody else that are watching these videos, feel free to drop those in the comments. If you want to see more of this, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.